Hey, this is Rich Osweiler coming to you from the 2013 NAMM Show in Anaheim, California for PremierGuitar.com. I'm here with Jay Blout from NS Design, and we're going to be talking about the new NXT Omni Bass, which is brand spanking new for this show, uh, as well as a lot of stuff here at NS Design. So, Jay, I'm going to let you take it away, kind of take us through uh, all the appointments here and uh, sure. what we got going on. This is the newest addition to the NS Bass family, the new NXT Omni Bass. Features a 34 inch scale which allows the bass guitar player to experience the expressive nature of an upright bass okay. while maintaining the same feel of his traditional instrument. Um, it's got a solid maple body and neck, solid maple body bridge, and we've got a trans radius fingerboard here that the fingerboard is, is a two is a 10 inch radius here at the nut, tapering down to a 10 inch radius down here at the bottom allowing for a nice rounded fingerboard and allowing for the bowed nature of the instrument to come through. How's this fingerboard feel to you, Roland? Is this something that's been working for you? It works really well. It feels actually really natural. Excellent. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it's really easy to get adjusted to or just to get the feel of it. You yeah. Know? Nice. And Roland, are you mainly an upright player or, or electric bass or both? Both. Both. I started upright in 1982 and I started electric in 81. Right on. The NXT series features the Polar pickup system, which we have piezo pickups embedded here in the bridge. And this switch allows you to go from an arco position with the bow to a pizzicato. So when it has the lateral string vibration from the arco mode, it, the bowing really comes out a lot more clearer than when the rotating string nature of the pizzicato hit the switch and that allows for a deeper robust tone in that regard. It also features the jackpot potentiometer, which bypasses the tone control. So when you, you know, typically on a, on a traditional circuit, it, it, it tends to siphon out some of the tone by running it through the tone and volume. The jackpot bypasses the ground, allowing the full tone of the pickup to go directly through the amp. That's a huge feature in this instrument, so you get a much more full, robust tone when playing live or recording. Right on. Well, thank you so much, Jay. There you have it, even more cool stuff for you low-enders out there in PremierGuitar.com land. This is Rich Osweiler coming to you from the 2013 NAMM Show, and please be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, or our YouTube channel, so you don't miss a single segment of all the stuff we're covering this week. Thanks again, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. You want to take us out, Roland? Sure. All right.